Hey guys, it's Nick here, uh, coming to you with another episode of Nick Reviews, and today we are doing the movie Hold the Dark, which is directed by Jeremy Solner, and it came out September 22nd, 2018. This was a movie I saw at TIFF, so my movie-going experience of it was a little different than what I actually felt during the movie, but... Yeah, so I saw this movie at TIFF. Anyway, it's starring uh, Alexander Skarsgård, uh, Riley Keough, and Jeffrey Wright. So let's get right into it. <clears throat> so this movie takes place in Alaska, and it's basically about this little uh, town in Alaska that's a, kind of an, it's an Aboriginal native town, and it, I think it's belonging more to the Métis uh, natives, if, I, if, I, if I'm correct. I think that's what it is. But basically, um, it's about uh, these, this couple living there. The man is off. The husband, who's Alexander Skarsgård, is off uh, fighting in Iraq or something like that. He's off fighting the war. Uh, the wife, who is Riley Keough, is at home, you know, doing her thing. But eventually their son goes missing, and then that's where she contacts a uh, wolf expert because that's, they think that her son went missing because of the wolves ate him or something like that. So they call up the wolf expert who's played by Jeffrey Wright. He's written books about his uh, experiences with wolves. So she thought it would be a good idea. She didn't think that he would actually come. Eventually he does come down to go check it out. Because he wanted to see why these, why these wolves are eating the citizens of this town. Anyway, he kind of... That, that's why he's there. But he kind of stumbles across something that's much bigger than just wolves. It's kind of like a... Um, without... Going too far into it, it's kind of like a um, uh, ritual almost as to why these kids are missing. It's more of a uh, uh, murder thriller, not just a mystery movie. And that's kind of... When I was reading the uh, description of it, it just said mystery thriller. So I was thinking it's um, it's mu much more of a uh, different type of movie than what I was expecting or anticipating. This movie was almost... It was trying to be something more than what it was. It was a definitely an ode to the old uh, slasher films such as uh, Friday the 13th or Halloween. The Alexander Skarsgård, he um, puts on like this wolf, masks, wolf mask and it kind of invokes a, uh, a deity almost or a demon that he just becomes invincible and he just starts killing a bunch of people. He... Um, Anyway, so as I mentioned before, he was at war, and then he finds out his son... Well, he doesn't even find out that his son's missing. He, uh, uh, he gets shot or whatever, and he, he, had, he eventually survives. And he gets put on uh, leave for the army, and he gets sent back home. <clears throat> and once he gets home, that's when he realizes that his son is dead, and his wife is missing. So and basically, this is when the whole movie starts getting to come, come together. But, um, I thought that this movie was more, was supposed to be more of a thriller mystery, and then I later found out it was more of a horror movie, which I love horror movies. I'm a huge horror movie fan, so I was not disappointed in it. Where I was disappointed is how it went about being a horror movie, and how it kind of was more of a thriller uh, art piece. Kind of a thriller art movie. It was more of an art show than anything. This movie almost had its its head up its own butt. It tried to be way too way too more than what it was. It it didn't go into detail about a few things, just hoping that the audience would understand and uh, kind of not even question it. So when I was watching this, you know, especially when I w was watching it at a, at a TIFF event at the Toronto International Film Festival, I really wanted to like this movie just because I, one I paid like sixty bucks for these tickets. And two, because it, the whole festivities of it, you know, you wouldn't expect something to be uh, garbage. But I was sadly mistaken because this movie sucked. Anyway, um, Riley Keough's acting was garbage. Alexander Skarsgård only had, like, maybe three lines. The best one, one who was in it was Jeffrey Wright. And whoever the police officer was, I didn't, I forget his name now. But he was, they, those two were really good. But this movie, yeah, it just felt like it's being, it tried to be more than what it was. It was, um, 
it, it was definitely an ode to those th slasher films, but it also kind of missed the placement in it because if it was trying to be like the, the Friday the 13th or the Halloween, it's really missing some key elements in the story where we actually get invested in these characters and we actually care about these, um, the people trying to survive this movie. Rather, we, I didn't care at all, you know? The one person I did care about kind of was Jeffrey Wright, but the fact is I didn't really care about the Alexander Skarsgård or the Riley Keough. Both of them, you know, could have cared less. I don't even know where to go from here. I just, I thought the whole, the whole movie, what I kind of liked about it was the fact that it really, um, encompassed and it really, uh, kind of, it really did feel like it was a cold, terrifying movie. Like the whole movie felt kind of a little cold and that was through the Alaskan, uh, uh, cinematography of Alaska and the, the whole view of it you kind of really did feel chills but beyond that it was just the placement like the, the the pace of the movie was not interesting it didn't keep you going from scene to scene rather some scenes were great other scenes were just you know kind of meaningless in the end they didn't wrap up the story which I do like that sometimes I like it when they leave you with a cliffhanger and it's like oh will there be a nut uh, a part two but this movie, I didn't even care if there's a part two. I'm just like, all right, that's the end. All right, that's that. Leave it, leave it there. No more. Um, one of the scenes that I really liked about it was uh, a standoff between one of the Aboriginal people and the police. The scene was awesome. It was just full on like guns galore, basically. Uh, it was it was an awesome scene, just the way that they did it, and it was just one guy versus like like twenty cops, twenty five cops, something like that. It was crazy, but it was I thought that was probably the best scene, and that was that was probably one of the reasons I'm gonna give this movie a uh, one point five out of five stars. I watched it with my girlfriend. I got her uh, insight on it and what she said. She's gonna give that zero out of five stars. She hated it. She hated every moment of it. She doesn't really like horror movies and I kind of strung her along on this, so my bad, but this movie kind of sucked. Um, I was very disappointed in it. I, this is kind of something I would expect going to TIFF because they do show uh, uh, kind of garbage sometimes, you know? You gotta, if you wanna get into a good movie, you gotta get into it early or you gotta find, you gotta really know what you're getting into. This is the kind of movie I just picked off a of random and I was like, okay, we, this fits in our timing schedule so we thought, might as well go see it. Big mistake. I do not recommend this to anybody. I, um, I hope you watch something else for this Halloween. This is, this is a Netflix, uh, this is a Netflix movie. It was brought out through film festivals, but now, you can watch it on Netflix, but I wish I just waited instead of wasting my money. But you know what? It was worth the film, uh, the TIFF experience. TIFF experience is amazing. I would give the experience of TIFF 10 out of 10. That place is awesome. The people there are cool. You get a nice film experience with the whole festival vibe. I loved it. I love the I love the film ex like the the movie theater experience, but the movie sucked. And that's that. That's the end of my review. So thanks for watching. Um, smash that like button and subscribe.